So I want to take us into um, a guided piece now. I'm not exactly sure what is to come through. I'm just going to trust that whatever needs to come through is in the highest good for our souls and um, for the collective, really. For the collective um, and whatever needs to be integrated and, and supported into completion on this the Seven Seven Portal, um, uh, moving into the uh, solar eclipse. And as many people said, yes, I've said that. <laughs> it's all going to get better. But, <laughs> but it is, Blanche, it is. <laughs> it, <laughs> but we are, we are, but to be realistic, we are in, uh, we have birthed into a deep state of transition. And yes, it, it will lighten and the energies will become easier as we go through our um, incarnations this lifetime. But we also contracted to come in at, at a time of very big upheaval in the planet. And this is why our souls incarnated at this time, because we were up for the challenge of uh, shifting from uh, one state of consciousness to another state of consciousness and bringing in very... Um, and bringing in aspects of ourselves from other times and other places, which up until now in this this energy uh, of, of this uh, three-dimensional Earth structure has not been um, available to the uh, masses, only to the uh, ascended masters, such as the Buddhist lineage uh, of Rinpoche, such as um, people in high uh, spiritual orders. But this is now becoming more commonplace in the collective and, and will become more and more commonplace as the frequency shifts. So today we are being uh, guided back to, uh, to connect with origins of self from uh, galactic uh, times. So just taking a breath and breathing, yeah, breathing. Letting the solar plexic energy expand into the body, all through the body. Anchoring down through the ground as we start this practice. So we've, we have just uh, done a piece of work on uh, anchoring in some new brain uh, synapse structure for the, um, the higher mind connection. And we have just physically changed positions in the room. This is particularly to disrupt a timeline that we were all in many, many galactic moons ago. But in reality, time is non-linear, so it could have really happened in uh, just a moment ago. So in clearing and shifting the energy now, we clear and shift the energy through the galactic uh, multidimensional temp templates of our own experience. So go inward now, children, go inward into your being. In front of you in the circle, a silver portal appears. Individually, it will take us each to a timeline, which is directly uh, coming up now for ag examination, for clearing and completion. So one by one, in front of a, a circle, in, in the space in front of us, we hop through the silver portal of light. Banshin den bandin bodishi bitin bundin bandan dan din ginshin bundun dun dun bungun do shi bandan din gan dan 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 And as we settle into this place, we find ourselves in another planetary system, in another space-time dimension.
we sit in a council, council of light of seven. We have very high roles upon this council to support the energies of many planets in our galaxy. Unfortunately, as, as the roles continue through the time-space continuum, we have to make um, decisions around planets that are out of control. Planets that no longer are resonating in the frequency of love, but have uh, the peoples have become very um, primitive and uh, violent. So as councils in this of seven, we have decisions to make around what to do for these uh, lands, for these places that have gone into disrepair. At times we are united in our decision making. In other times, some of us have felt separate from the cohort of the seven and had to make decisions alone which have gone against the team. But no, all was as it should be in divine order and purpose. And if there are energies of separation or feeling left out within our body or our matrix from this Council of Light, we are now to flush this karmic um, energy through the out of the body through this sound. This is why many of us in this space are feeling trapped or feeling that it is difficult to move forward because in this time when we were the Council of Seven, there were many decisions to be made that were difficult. There were many decisions that made us feel trapped in ourselves, whether it be with guilt or a sense of a duty to do the right decision by the people, sense of guilt for the destruction of planets. But we are now asking for the, com uh, the completion and the dispensation of these energies within our minds, our consciousness and our beings, that these energies now be, be released from our bodies, our subconscious, so that we are free to move forward in this earthly incarnation without the sense of contraction, fear and a sense of responsibility that is no longer necessary for us to hold within our matrix in this physical form. Let these energies weave through your energy light body, clearing the past, resolving anything that is unresolved within the mind, consciousness, the subconscious and the etheric field. That all has the potential for realignment and healing to a new timeline, the highest timeline for your soul evolution and the dispensation of your mission work. As we sit in circle in this altered reality, 
we sit with our counterpart on the um, Council of Seven. This is our galactic counterpart, if you will, energy from another time and place. It is like a galactic twin, if you will, an energetic template resonating with our own energy body in this time consciousness. We sit opposite this twin now, this altered version of ourselves. Sit up with this twin and ask, ask now your twin whatever you wish to ask about your soul mission, about what has to happen next for you or what is going on for you in this experience right now. Have a conversation in your mind around your process of being a body on the earth at this time in the evolution of Gaia. What is it that you need to know right now from your galactic counterpart? Just take a moment or two to connect with that energy. as you sit with your galactic twin from the Council of Seven. You are being invited to go un into a soul merge with that aspect of self so you can bring through some of that galactic twin's resonance into this life experience. So if it feels safe and comfortable to do so now, in your mind's eye, you feel that the energy of the galactic being in front of you starts to merge with your own being and that your chakra systems come into alignment with one another exchanging keys, codes and information for your journey forward. And this is a two-way transfer of energy. They are gaining wisdom from you, from this three-dimensional experience of life, as you are gaining wisdom from them through the galactic portals of transference and energy download. So as I make this galactic transfer of light language. Just let your energy merge with this galactic being, your soul galactic twin. We start with the base chakra, merging the base chakra. 
Feel a gentle fusion between your galactic presence and your earthly presence at the base chakra. Moving to the sacral now. Letting go of wounds of separation from the galactic portals of light where you have embodied galactic beings and felt um, somehow uh, your mission has been uh, incomplete. We are releasing those protocol timelines from your sacral and fusing the two sacral chakras now. Moving onwards and upwards to this to the solar plexus chakra, fusing the our galactic twin with our physical solar plexus chakra, allowing a permanent deletion of all timelines from the galactic wars around power and, and balance, including the timelines of Lemuria and Atlantis. Release, 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 release. Breathe, breathe, breathe. It would be good for you to work with the energy of forgiveness for the solar plexus for the next 24 hours. If you wish, meditate on forgiveness, releasing old timelines, releasing galactic wounding from the heart and the solar plexus. And so it is. So we move, we move, move, move upwards to the heart now. Connecting with our galactic twin in the heart space. Feeling compassion for all the lives where we have had missions with, that have been unsuccessful. That these missions have now can be deleted from our timeline in this physical body. And that then we are free to expand into the future. Expand into the future with freedom, grace and ease. On a new frequency path in this current expression of ourselves on this planet. We are now expanding into the heart of the collective with our galactic heart shining brightly on purpose, in grace, in peace, in divine perfection. We move to the throat chakra. And in the throat chakra we are healing the splits from past experiences where we have been unable to speak our soul truth these are particularly in the galactic wars. Let your galactic twin now come forth with his hand gently touching the side of your neck or her neck.
Shibadiyala. This energy of blue, electric blue light is now fusing into your throat chakra, returning it, returning it to clarity, finding speech, clear speech, clear perfect speech. She did it on Borishon, non the debon that a condorishi banda can that one and gondorim batanim. Ended it in Gunno to Gunnugo, Shulgeralaka. Clearing the energy of the throat chakra in alignment with the chakras underneath the throat. All in balance, unity, consciousness with your twin. We move to the third eye center in the center of your forehead. You gaze effortlessly into the eyes of your twin. And there is a telepathy of knowing and knowledge transfer that comes into your mind as these energy centers fuse. <sighs> You are being transferred with the positive higher timeline potential support. These are the evolutionary um, uh, mission successful protocols where we have completed missions successfully and there has been powerful transformation of planets and our work has been completed with grace and ease. Now this is a new timeline, a higher time, the potential for the Earth, this, this evolutionary process. And we are gifted to hold this space for the Earth as it evolves. And finally, there is a fusing of this crown energy chakra. So a golden light appears beho below be, be above the, the crown of yourself and your galactic counterpart. That is, it is shining around your crown chakra and behind you. It is as though you are lit from behind with a golden light. It is your Christed energy, it is your Christed heart energy. You are fusing your golden crown with the crown of your galactic counterpart now. You look directly in front of you at the presence of your galactic twin and you see a reflection of yourself. There is no separation. There is no separation. You are as one. There is a peace and an ease within your heart. There is a recognition of sovereignty through the multi-dimensional timeline. That you do not have to lose anything to gain expansion in your mission this lifetime. All the emotions and the turmoil from the galactic wars has been nullified and released from your energy field. And you are now complete in this karmic cycle, ready to move forward in a new way and birth new mission protocols for this new earth and its transition fully to fifth dimensional consciousness and beyond. So it is, and so it is.
and so it is. You know that it is time now to return to the here and now. The silver portal of light opens up in front of this circle in front of you. And one by one we hop back through the timelines into this space. And you take your time to rest before coming back to the space. Blessings be.